You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I was set up to fail with the whole rock publicity stunt happening the same night. You're lucky the building was half full. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in Arcade Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet. But with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. 
I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you? You're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Did you make up your mind about joining me? Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
That's it. Bring the back. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? Randy hasn't always been the most trustworthy person in the past, so I'd be an idiot not to keep my guard up. But I'm hoping he's changed. Would it be safer to just rely on myself? Yeah, but I'm trying to trust the process. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone's arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed Evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match, with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this.
Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. Time to party with the Prophets. And at a combined weight, of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Byron with the Street Profits out here. I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for their Raw Tag Team titles. And they'll have to go through Omos and Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Saxon clearly has the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This Triple Threat Tornado Tag Match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see if Randy Orton's new evolution lives up to the hype. Champion is doing everything in this power to counter. 
No, Moss is just too strong. A new hurt business looks to walk out as champions. One, two, two. with the frog splash out of nowhere. Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear for Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their long tag team championship. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution, and the Hurt Business look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions experience teaming together prevail. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. What's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. the profits and their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds, the Raw 
Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown! You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. attacks left and right. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh. Lining them up with a knew what was coming there. Ford showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Ford hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. And now thrown back into the ring. What next? Setting up. Basement drop kick. What impact? 
And the lock has picked up the pace. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh, impressive counter. The U-turn Montez needed in this match could have been that right there. This is in Seguri. Bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. <laughs>